Hi, I'm Maddie. Welcome to our top 10 animal dads. The lump sucker fish isn't exactly a looker. The male of this portly and drab species use their modified pelvic fins, which have essentially evolved into suction cups to glue themselves near their clutch of eggs. Dedicated to his brood, he sits and watches over them until they hatch, and if any attempt is made to harm them, predators are met with a fierce display of protectiveness. The giant water bug is a freaky looking thing at the best of times, but during breeding season he ramps up the freak factor by sticking his girlfriend's eggs to his back and carting them around until they're big enough to go it alone. The seahorse is perhaps one of the most bizarre creatures in the sea, and his sex life also matches his looks. The male is equipped with a brood pouch in which, during mating, the female deposits up to 1,500 eggs. It's then his job to carry them around for up to 45 days till the young emerge, and going through a series of contractions, he spurts them out into the big wide ocean, fully formed but very tiny. The rhea is a flightless bird with somewhat of a reputation as a ladies' man, as with his wandering eyes, isn't opposed to keeping a harem of up to 12 females at his sexual disposal. Yet, despite his rampant ways, he's not the bad dad his reputation might suggest. With all that philandering, he can find himself sat on up to 50 eggs, and once they hatch, it's then his responsibility to raise the chicks without any assistance from the multiple mothers. The male arowana gives some of the best paternal care of any fish. A cumbersome giant of the Amazon not only does this guy build nests for his young and protect them after they hatch, with a mouth that matches his size, fathers are able to harbour hundreds of baby fish in their mouths, letting them out on occasion to explore. While female jacanas put it out there and mate with as many partners as possible, it's the male who does all the hard graft when it comes to raising a family. After building a nest for the female to lay in, he'll then incubate the eggs and raise the chicks without so much as a hello from mum, who by now has left on her annual migration. Native to Chile and Argentina, Darwin's frog, discovered by Charles Darwin, carries his young around in his mouth until they're ready to fend for themselves. Guarding the female's eggs for around two weeks, once the tadpoles emerge, he'll then carry them around in his vocal pouch until they turn into froglets, when he'll release them into a nearby pool. While male primates are known for a caring family man attitude, no other monkey shows quite the same level of attentiveness as the male marmoset. From the moment of the birth of his offspring, he's a very hands-on dad, often acting as a midwife during birth. He'll even bite off the umbilical cord and clean up afterwards. Despite their fearsome reputation as predators, male wolves are gentle and protective fathers and family men that live with their pack for life. After a female wolf gives birth, she remains in her den with her pups for several weeks, while dad's job is to stand guard. After just three weeks, the pups are able to eat meat, and dad will go off, hunt, and bring them fresh pieces of kill. Deciding to lay a single egg 120 kilometers inland in one of the coldest and most inhospitable environments in the world, the female emperor penguin's nutritional reserves are now so low that she has to return to the ocean to feed for two months, leaving poor old dad to do nothing except sit on an egg. He then spends the entire two months precariously balancing the egg between the tops of his feet and his special brooding pouch on his stomach. If the egg becomes exposed to those freezing temperatures, the chick could perish, but it's his dedication and balance that ensures the survival of his offspring and the next generation. For more of our top 10 picks just like this, then subscribe to Earth Unplugged and we'll see you soon. The cubs are just beginning to poke their heads out. I don't know if I've seen one or, or both at different times, but I've only seen one at a time so far. I'm gradually edging out slightly more every time. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Okay, okay. Wow, look at that. 